Hi everyone. Thanks for clicking onto my channel, Simply Outdoors with Shauna. Just out here today, we're hiking into where I started my uh, shelter for the winter. Haven't been out here in a little bit. I haven't been able to make it out. So we're just hiking in now and the snow just started. Love it. I love winter. So come along with me and uh, we'll start building the roof of the shelter. We're coming up to the shelter now. See how everything looks. Oh yeah, everything looks good. Just the way I left. Everything is just the way I left it. Perfect. Now we're going to get started and build the pitch roof. Let's get cracking before it snows too much. Before I left, the other time I was out, I just uh, gathered a few trees so in case it did snow, I'd have a few to get started. So I have a big long one here that I'm going to make a ridge pole from that tree to the middle of my shelter with a pole that's going to support it and then another branch going off of that pole to another tree. So let's start that now. Got a couple of good thick branches here. That's what we'll start with. First off, I need one with a Y. So the branches that are going to be for the ridge pole will sit in to the Y. So let's get that ready. See how tall we need it. I only want it up to my neck height, so we'll cut that down. Right about there. Brought some jute twine to uh, tie up all my ridge poles.
start with a Canadian jam knot. So first you make a knot at the end of your rope, paracord, jute twine, whatever you're using. You make a knot, then you make another knot, not really a knot, you just are going to tie a loop just before that knot that you made. So it won't go anywhere. So it's good and tight and that knot will stop it from sliding. So then I'm going to wrap this around the tree into the loop that I made. So like I was saying, I only want my roof to be about neck high. So we'll tie it off here. So you're going to take that end of the rope and put it through the loop that you made. Then you're going to snug it down really well. and wrap it around the tree. All different ways you're going to wrap it figure eight. I'll bring you in closer. I'll bring you in closer for the next one to show you how I wrap it. Okay, there's my loop. Wrap it around the tree, put the leading end through the hoop, through the loop that you made. Give it just a little tug until you get it wrapped. Then you're going to do a bunch of figure eights all around the tree and the branch. Just wrap it all different ways so it's going to be good and secure. And then you just tie it off itself. And there we go. I'm going to do that a few more times. So now that the one end of your ridge pole is tied to the tree, you have your Y that you'll sit the other part of your ridge pole into, into there and then we'll tie it off. Then I'll have two other sticks going down that will support this stick that's in the middle. So first of all I'm going to get the two sticks that are going to hold this in.
Whew. All right, got some good branches to work with here to make this secure. Now I'm going to attach these poles to the Y pole to make it secure, but I want it to go on the inside of the rocks. Put it under. I'll go under for this. Maybe just one pole to hold this in place should be good because that's going to take up room for my raised bed. So I think I'll do one pole on this side, holding that in place should be perfect. Yeah, so I'll cut it off right here. Make a notch. Where I want to cut it. Now, on this side, I'm not going to be really doing much right here. I'm just going to make a little rock table. That side will be my um, raised bed that I'll be making. So for this side, it will be OK. Now I'm going to, I'm going to tie this off to this pole to make it good and secure. Hard to do knots and everything with gloves on. Snow is coming down good. I wanted to get this done before the snow fell, but didn't quite work out that way, but I don't mind working in the snow. Rope that off. There we go. Whew, lots of snow up here already. See, there we go, good and sturdy. Now that I have the one side tied to the tree and the other one secured to the branch that I put up in the middle, I want to show you the idea that I'm going to do before it gets too late here and I can't show you much. So I'm now going to get branches that are going to lean up against here on each side. Just going to lay a couple and then I'll show you and then I'll cut them off. I want the, the rocks to be on the inside because they'll hold the heat good for me. I'm going to cut this one off.
good knot in that one. Whew. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to show you a little bit of what I plan on doing. I'm just going to do a little today. I only came out for a couple hours. I only had a couple hours to come out. So this is kind of what I'm planning on doing is putting them on each side all the way down. All right, everyone. Thanks for coming along with me today for the start of the the roof building. Next time we'll do a little more. Today I was only out for a few hours so I wanted to get it started to see how it was going to look. So come along with me next time and we'll probably get the whole roof done and like I said fill in the holes that I want to fill in where the rocks are. So catch you on the next one everyone. Cheers. Woohoo! Look at the snow that has fallen. My favorite time to be in the woods, first snowfall.